Yes, we'll be preaching in the prophetic today. We will actually have prophetess um, Sharika McCullough, who will be giving me the message on which I shall be teaching on today. Um, if you would just stand with me and uh, turn to the book of Deuteronomy. We'll be uh, reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, chapter 27 we're gonna make it quick because I do have somewhere to be I uh, have to preach a, a, a funeral this afternoon mother Reuben has passed and went on to be with the Lord and the word of the Lord says this is Moses um, the word of the Lord says and Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people saying keep all the commandments uh, which I command you this day and it shall be on the day when ye shall pass over unto Jordan the land which the Lord God giveth thee that thou shall set thee apart the great stones and plaster with plaster and thou shall write upon all them in the words of the law thou her passed o'er, and I mayest go unto the land which the Lord God giveth thee, that floweth with milk and honey, as the Lord God gave fathers, hath promised thee. And we're going to go down and skip to verse 23, if you would. In the word of the Lord, it reads, Cursed be thee that lieth out of his mouth in the law, and the people shall be a man. Cursed be thee that smiteth his neighbor by security, and all the people shall say, Amen and amen. What I want to talk about today is getting on the the dimension or the place that we can be with God where we experience uh, his true glory and where we uh, experience um, the milk and the honey. See, I know that the season that this church is in is a as a season of, of struggle. You're in a season of warfare, but I propose to you today, but that the warfare that you're going through is not actually with the devil, but the warfare that you're struggling with is a warfare of self. See, something that you're dealing with is you're going around in circles and in circles. And one thing I know about a circle is that when you keep going around in circles, have you ever been to Tallahassee? And I remember years ago when I went to Tallahassee, I began to get lost because I did not know my way around the city. And it seems as if I had passed that Albertsons five or six times. It's because Tallahassee is a circle. And I propose to you today that some of you are in your spiritual Tallahassee. Amen. Hallelujah. Things are going in circles. Things are in a 360 degree. You're not on the straight and narrow. Hallelujah. I ain't getting no eight mans on that. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not getting no amen. It seems as if the same thing is going. Uh, some of you have been in the same situation for years and your prayer is God. Uh, how am I going to get out of this? Uh, God, I cannot see. Hallelujah. I cannot see my way out of this. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, the same people I am attracting. Uh, I'm sick of eating the same food. I'm sick of sleeping on the same flow with that air mattress. It seems as if I've been going through this over and over I don't know where my next check is gonna come from and I got a computer bill do I don't know where my next check is gonna come from and T-Mobile needs to be paid and it seems as if I've been going through this since my freshman year of college that's what some of you are thinking today who hallelujah Amen. hallelujah but see what God is doing at this hour. He wants to take you to a place uh, where you experience his Shekinah glory. You're experiencing uh, his milk and honey. Now, I heard a word from the Lord as I was praying and I was fasting. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing get just dropped. I heard a word from the Lord and he said, he said, Antoine, I want you to tell my people that I'm going to take them on this place. Uh, no longer shall they be like the children of Israel and struggling in their wilderness. He said, uh, I'm taking my people out. I'm taking my people out. 
out. I'm taking my people out of the wilderness and I'm placing them in the land of milk and honey. And even though there are going to be some giants that are in the land, don't worry about the giants. Don't be like Lot's wife. Because if you beat like Lot's wife and you turn back and you look back, you're going to turn into a pebble of salt. But if you will keep your eyes on the hill that which comes to help, I will take you to that place. And when you get to that place, you shall experience my glory. You shall experience my truth. And you shall be blessed. Hallelujah. He said you'll be blessed. But if we go back to a couple of verses, the people were blessed. If you read a couple of verses before I skip down to verse 36, it, he, he, he began to, when Moses began to write, uh, 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 he began to, 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 uh, to, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we put people on the spot in this ministry and we're going to have prophet to show we could take over. Well, I left. He began to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. He says he's going to take us into the promised land. But um, as Pastor was speaking, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say that some of you are at your mountain right now. Hallelujah. Your mountain could be your problems. Hallelujah. Your bills. Hallelujah. Your family members who are lost. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. But if you just imagine that mountain in your head right now, and all you have to do, all God said you had to do is speak to that mountain. Hallelujah. Some of you are trying to jump over the mountain. Some of you are trying to climb the mountain. But it's so simple. Simple. Hot, yeah. We gonna pass the mic. If you actually read in the Bible and you actually read about mountains, if you read about mountains, what mountains actually mean is government. Uh, mountains speak upon, uh, speak about government uh, in the Bible, and some of you are struggling with principalities who rule over government because the government says uh, and financial aid, and uh, the government says hiya and bright futures, uh, how they set the law and tell. Hatsiha, that you can't get that scholarship because uh, you got a point. Uh, 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 you should have had a B and, and, and you got that C. And uh, what you have to do is decree and declare and uh, speak against and, uh, that mountain and uh, that is against the government. And uh, and uh,
positions us and puts a plan in our lives. That's why God.